the boat they were on almost capsized in Polillo. Former President Rodrigo Duterte and current senators paid Malacanang a visit to talk about China with President Bongbong Marcos. And the government is test running a reading program that will benefit both tutors and students. and fearless. Here's a roundup of stories we're watching now. I'm Sean Yao. Dozens of passengers have been rescued after a boat half submerged off of Polillo Island in Quezon. The Philippine Coast Guard said at least 67 passengers and crew members have been brought to safety. The boat was traversing the waters of Barangay Maknit in Polillo when a hard material hit its front part. Meanwhile, the local government of Polillo told One News Now that safety precautions are always enforced in their ports. The inspection po ng ating uh, Coast Guard bago umalis po ang bangka. Uh, yung pong bangka na ito ay galing po ng Patnanungan, Quezon. So ibang bayan po siya para sa bayan po ng Polillo. Uh, unfortunately lang po sa malapit po sa barangay ng Polillo ang uh, lumubog yung bangka. In other news, motorists traveling through the NLEX SLEX connector road will be required to pay toll fees starting next week, Tuesday, August 8. Class 1 vehicles or cars and SUVs will be charged 86 pesos, while Class 2 vehicles like minivans and buses will have to shell out 215 pesos. The fee for large trucks and trailers or Class 3 vehicles is at 302 pesos. It was the Toll Regulatory Board or TRB that issued the notice to start collection for the recently opened stretch between Caloocan City and Espana Boulevard in Manila. And the government has launched a reading program where college students will be tutoring grade 2 pupils. Laila Pangilinan with the details. A few days before the start of the school year, grade 2 students who belong to low-income households will be part of a tutoring program. 60,000 students aged 7 who are having difficulty in reading will benefit from the Tara Basa tutoring program. Their tutors, 6,000 volunteer third and fourth year college students from different state universities and local colleges. Nagpapasalamat kami sa volunteers ng mga college students sa kanilang interest na tumulong sa ating mga kabataan. Each college student will handle 10 students and will be paid 570 pesos per day in exchange of two hours of tutoring services. This is under the Social Welfare Department's Cash for Work program. Kasi alam natin, sila yung konting-konti na lang ay magiging produktibong mamamayan na natin. Makakasama na, makakalahok na sa nation building, maging part na ng workforce. Among the volunteer tutors are Rafael and Marianita. They said that the 11,000 pesos they will get from the program will be a great help to them in the coming school year. Lalo na po ngayon na kami ngayon ay papasok na, which is face-to-face -face classes po kami, na kung saan kailangan po namin bumili ng mga gamit, gawin din po ng mga pambaon. So mak makakatulong po talaga ito, ma ma matatanggap namin sa DSW. Malapit na yung pasukan namin, so yung mga kailangan na dapat bilhin. Lalo uniform kasi mag-face-to-face na kami, kailangan po namin. So, sobrang laki yung tulong po. Aside from teaching kids, other volunteer tutors will be assigned to the Nanay Tatay Tutoring Teacher Program. They will guide parents in helping their children during learning and reading sessions. Parents and guardians of non-reader elementary learners will also receive cash aid worth 235 pesos per day for 20 days. Tuturuan natin sila na maging unang mga guro sa kanilang mga tahanan. Um, at napalit nun, uh, meron rin silang makukuha na financial assistance para makatulong sa gastusin ng mga bata ng nalalahok sa tutoring program. Parents are thankful for this two-in-one blessing. Nakukuha po ako sa, sa kalagayan po kasi namin, kira po kami sa buhay. Malaki po na itulong ng DSWD sa allowance na ibibigay para sa amin. Malaking tulong po sa, sa kanya para makabasa siya ng maayos. 
The pilot run of the Tara, Basa, tutoring program will start on August 15. This will be piloted in Metro Manila and will last for 20 days. Kailangan pagtapos ng 20 days, magbibigay yung DepEd ng post-test. Matalsukat natin kung yung mga sinuturan ba, eh natuto naman magbasa. If the pilot run is successful, it will be implemented nationwide. The DSWD also plans to continue this kind of cash for work program for college students if proven effective. For News 5, Laila Pangilinan, we are One News. We'll be pausing for a quick break, but One News Now will be back with more stories after that. Keep it here. We're back on One News Now. I'm Sean Yao. Former President Rodrigo Duterte met with President Bongbong Marcos. 
to talk about the details of his meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping last month. The two leaders also tackled other issues, but no further details were released to media. Recall that Duterte met up with Xi in Beijing on July 17 to discuss deeper cooperation between the Philippines and China. Senators were also in the palace last night as the president hosted a birthday dinner for Senator Joel Villanueva. Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri described the dinner as very casual and cordial. While the night had a, quote, very relaxed mood, Zubiri said they also talked about several topics like flooding, agriculture, China, and the West Philippine Sea. Senate Minority Members Coco Pimentel and Risa Ontiveros were not present. And in sports, the Philippine women's football team is back in the country after a historic run at the FIFA Women's World Cup. Marty Bautista with the details. The Philippine women's football team landed at the Naia Terminal 1 on Wednesday from Australia. They've just wrapped up their historic debut at the FIFA Women's World Cup where they were able to get their first ever win. Football fans happily welcomed the team outside the terminal, carrying tarpaulins and clad in Philippine jerseys. The cheers grew even louder when members of the team came out. 13 of the 23 members of the squad returned home first, while the rest will follow suit in the coming days. The Filipinas thanked their supporters for the warm welcome after the Australian trip. They also expressed gratitude to the Pinoys who showed up at the venues for the games. Our game against Norway, although we didn't get the result, I mean, to have so many of our Kababayans there and it felt like a home game at Rizal on home soil, so it was, it was pure magic. Aside from this, the players also thank Coach Alan Stachich, who recently left the team. Stachich will explore other options for his next career move. I see that as like it's um, normal in football that like nothing lasts forever and uh, he did a really nice job and we're grateful that he was with us and what he has achieved with us but it's also maybe a new chapter for Filipino football. The search is on for the next mentor of the team as the Filipinas are set to compete at the Asian Games in China next month. The team will only have a few days rest before they go back to training for the Asian Games. We have to regroup, obviously, and obviously the Federation has been preparing already for this. Uh, the, the, this team has been purely focused on the job at the World Cup, and we take a few days rest, and then we go again. The Filipinas will hold an official homecoming in Glorieta later today. For News 5, Marty Bautista, We Are One News. One News Now will be back tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. I am Sean Yao. We are One News. All sides all the time.